the Mysterons, sworn enemies of Earth, possessing the ability to recreate an exact likeness of an object or person. But first, they must destroy. Leading the fight, one man fate has made indestructible. His name, Captain Scarlet. I enjoyed myself this evening. Yes, the lecture was very interesting. Dr. O'Neill's theory seemed to make good sense. I agree. Looks like someone went off the road. We may be able to help. Look, they're in the water. Come on, let's get down there. Well, gentlemen, this will be our greatest challenge. If the Mistrons were to succeed in destroying Futura, it would be a shattering blow to world morale. We realize this, Colonel. It could start a global panic. World government might well collapse. Every Spectrum agency is working on the problem. 
Every man, every vehicle and machine are on red alert. What is our assignment, Colonel? We wait. Poised for instant action, the first sign of an attack. The Mysterons must realize how important the security of Futura is to the world. Every move will have been carefully planned. How long has he been dead? I'd say about 20 minutes. There's still a good chance. He's very lucky we happen to be passing. Any response? No, not yet. We'll keep the resuscitator going until we get him to hospital. He should revive. Increase heart stimulator input. Yes, Doctor. How long has he been in the recovery unit? One hour, 19 minutes. 17 minutes in the ambulance. That means he's been dead for nearly two hours. Well, if he's going to recover, we should get a response soon. Do you know his name? Yes, it's Major Gravener. He's chief test pilot at Slayton Air Base. He was carrying his pass. Slayton Air Base? Yes, I believe they do a lot of advanced experimental work there. He must be a key man. Keep trying till midnight. I don't think there's much hope after that. Right. Increase heart stimulus to maximum. Yes, Doctor. Well, it looks like we've failed. Dr. Mitchell. What is it? A heart flutter, I think. Yes, there's another. Increase oral pressure. Increase frequency and weight of chest depressions. picking up. Come on, Major. Take that first breath. <gasps> there it is. He's starting to breathe. Pulse strength increasing. Rate leveling off at 76. We have done it. Yes, he'll be all right now. Well, I'd say Major Gravener was a lucky man. A very lucky man. Why don't you get some rest, Colonel? Oh, what's that, Lieutenant? You've worked around the clock. You should try and get some sleep, sir. Hmm, maybe you're right, Lieutenant. I think I'll take a couple of hours. I'll be in the room of sleep. 
If anything breaks, inform me at once. Yes, sir. Well, I think our patient is awake. Where... Where am I? Slayton Hospital. Slayton Hospital? What happened? It's a long story. We'll tell you all about it later. I can't think. I, I just can't remember. What day is it? It's 9.17 a.m., Tuesday, July 10th. Try and get some rest now. We'll talk after lunch. Here's my three-star authorization, Sergeant. Phone Central Control and tell them I want the XK-107 ready for takeoff in an hour with a nuclear warhead. A live warhead, sir? You heard me, Sergeant. Yes, sir. I want an XK-107 ready for takeoff in an hour, armed with a live warhead. That's right, for Major Gravener. I'll give you a written order timed at 9.17, July 10th. Captain Black, relaying instructions from the Mr. Hans. You know what you must do. Major Gravener's office. Slayton Hospital? All right, put them on. Yes, Doctor? You have Major Gravener at the hospital? That's right, General. A nuclear warhead. Yes, sir. We'll stop him. I have all that. What is it, Lieutenant? A report from Slayton Air Base. Major Gravener, the chief test pilot, attempted an unauthorized takeoff and crashed. What's even more amazing, another Major Gravener was in the local hospital at exactly the same time. This must be it. Colonel White, a report has come through from Slayton 
It looks as if the Mysterons have made their first move. Right. I'm on my way up. You know what to do. Get the Angels skyborne. Lieutenant Green, launch all Angels. Angel 1, immediate launch. Captain Blue and I will leave for Slayton immediately. Give Colonel White full details. SIG, Angels 2 and 3, immediate launch. <laughs> Well, Major, we've managed to piece together the story. The Mysterons are capable of reconstructing an object or person and using them to achieve their aim. But first, they must kill their victim. Last night, you were forced to crash into the lake and drowned. I know. It's still almost impossible to believe I was dead for almost two hours. Nevertheless, your heart had stopped. For those two hours, you were medically dead. And the Mysterons think you are still dead. They sent their reconstruction of you to Slayton Air Base and attempted to steal an armed XK-107 bomber. The whole thing is incredible. Yes, Major. But the Mysterons have threatened to destroy Futura City. The world capital. Right. And we believe using the XK-107 was part of their plan. I see. How do you feel now, Major? Well, apart from trying to assimilate all this, I'm fine. Good. There's a lot at stake. We need your help. It involves a calculated risk. I'm a test pilot. I'm used to risk. I'm ready. I'm ready for takeoff, Captain Scarlet. Right, Major. We'll stay in direct contact on this wave band. There he goes. Let's hope we succeed. Yes, the tables are turned. We're trying to deceive the Mr. Rons by replacing their agent with the real Major Gravener. And hope they will tell him the details of their plan to attack Futura. Major Gravener has been skyborne 28 minutes. The Angels are keeping radar contact. Spectrum ground forces are positioned along the route he will overfly. This is Captain Black relaying instructions from the Mysterons. That's it. We fooled them. The Mysterons think the real Major Gravener is their man. You will land at Western Airstrip. Map reference 946A. I will be waiting. Let's go. Where is Western Airstrip? About 30 miles outside Futura city limits. It hasn't been used for years. Yes, Colonel White. Are you in contact with Major Gravener? Yes, Colonel. Range 27 miles. Yes, IG.
I think I see them, Mr. On plan. The XK-107 would have landed, transferred the nuclear device to some vehicle, and taken off again to act as a decoy. Very clever. But Captain Black has fallen for our decoy. This time, we'll get him. will be at Weston in four minutes. Good. The net is closing. Are the ground vehicles in position? Yes, Colonel. The whole area is completely surrounded. There's no possible means of escape. How much further? About five miles. Good. Keep your foot down. After him. He's making for the East Road. Angel leader, divert truck ahead of us. SIG. It's not Captain Black. Let's see his face. Then who? Harris. It's my driver, Harris. It seems Captain Black has managed to slip through our fingers once more. He must have some sort of sixth sense which warns him. Yes. However, we must be thankful the world capital is safe. I've been thinking, Colonel. The Mysterons couldn't distinguish between the real Major Gravener and their own reconstruction. That's a good point. It means they do not have the equivalent of our Mysteron detector. Well, gentlemen, it seems we've discovered another tiny chink in that armor. Yes, sir. Let's hope we can prize it open. <laughs> Captain Scott. 